Thanks so much for joining. So today I'm going to show you how you can create these 3x5 printable cards. And when they print out, they look like this. I've obviously made these a horizontal prints, um, but you can use this as a template and change them any way you want. Make them vertical, vertical prints. You can also obviously use this as a template, change the text, make them congratulations cards, invitations, uh, really whatever you want. This is just meant to show you the general concept of how you can create a 3x5 foldable card using nothing but Microsoft Word and a browser. Before we go ahead and get started to show you how you can create these, let me um, walk you through my YouTube channel. If you find an advertisement that is interesting to you and you click on it, that would be fantastic. Also, if you would subscribe, I would be so grateful. We do have a myriad of videos, everything from creating concert ticket invitations to uh, wine bottle labels, multiple different flyers. We have um, numbered raffle tickets, but more importantly, I want to point out that I have a video called Searching Fonts, Installing Fonts, and Using Symbols. If you do not know how to download and install new fonts, or you don't know how to work with symbols and you get lost during that part, please watch this video. Um, this will go in detail of how you can download and install new fonts, search for fonts, and obviously um, use symbols, which I will be doing today. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing we're going to want to do is go to File, New, Blank Document. So this is what you should be starting off with. Um, now, because I wanted to have two cards on one page, I went ahead and changed the orientation to Landscape because, again, these open horizontally. Next thing I want to do is on the page layout tab, I want to go to margins and I want to click on narrow. This just gives us a little bit more real estate to work with. Okay. Next thing I want to do is I want to insert a shape. And when I insert a shape, I'm going to go ahead and click on rectangle. And then you just want to click anywhere on the document. It doesn't matter where. Okay, and we're going to see this square show up. Now you want to be sure the drawing tools and the format tab is selected. And what you want to do is go to a height of six and a width of five. Now the reason why we're doing a six by five is obviously this is going to be a three by five folded in half. That six turns into a three. So that's why we want to make this a six by five. Okay. Next thing we want to do with the format tab still selected, we want to do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline. Um, and it has this dark gray and we actually want to keep that because again, we're doing that chalkboard background. So we want to go ahead and keep that. Okay. Next thing we want to do is move this shape in the middle of the screen. So we have that sort of green arrow. So we know where the middle is. Okay. And if you don't, um, have that, I believe you can go into so if you, I think it's design, page layout. There we go. Under page layout, sorry, it took me a second to find this. You can go to align and you want to click on use alignment guides. And that's how you can get those green arrows if you don't have those. All right. So now that we have those green arrows, what we want to do is we want to go to insert tab. We want to go to shapes and we want to insert this line. Now you want to hold the shift key while you left click so you draw a straight line. So while I hold the shift key, I can move this up and down and the line doesn't move because I have the shift key held down. And then you want to, again, left click to, to put the, the line in there. And then what we want to do is we want to click on the line so we have the little squares on the sides and we want to move it until it is centered. Okay. And we want to do a shape outline of that dark gray again. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to group these together so we can move the shape around. We can copy it and paste it and we have um, two cards that are exactly aligned and we can kind of move them up or down on the paper. Okay. So what we want to do now is hold the shift key. We want to ensure this line is selected um, or this object is selected and we see the two squares. We want to hold the shift key and then we want to click on the square while we're still holding the shift key. Then you want to right click and you want to say group and you want to group those together. Now what you can do is you can move this up and we want to move this up and kind of center this left justified. And then we want to right click. We want to do a copy 
we want to click outside so this isn't selected. This, this is selected when you click paste, it's going to paste it on top of it. So you want to be sure that that's not selected. You want to right click and then you want to paste. Okay. Now you can easily move this right over here. Okay. So now you have your two cards side by side and you can kind of left justify them. Now the reason why I wanted to left justify them and if you notice that you see this little cross up in the upper left hand corner and over here you see the cross in the upper right hand corner. The reason why you want to justify those is because when we do the inside of the card it is going to be much easier to line everything up to ensure everything's centered if you use those margins. Okay. That's why we want to do ensure that, that that that's justified with the green and with the green. Okay. All right. Next thing we want to do is we want to find this chalkboard background. So we're going to go um, to Google. If you use Yahoo Bing, feel free. We're going to write chalkboard background. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and click over here on images. And we'll just use, we'll use this image. I think this is the one we used, vector stock. And, but you can really use any one you want. And we're going to do a save picture as, and we're going to go in the video and we're going to say new background. But again, you save it anywhere you want. You just know where you saved it so you can get to it again. And what we're going to do is we want to ensure nothing is selected because if this is selected and we do insert, it's going to insert it on top. So we want to be sure nothing's selected. We want to do an insert picture and we want to do our new background. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to click on format. We want to click on crop and we want to move and you want to wait till you see this little T. Do you see how the my cursor now turns into a little T? You want to move that up. There you go. And then from here, we can move this over. Okay. All right. Next thing we want to do is we want to, and, and even though this kind of goes a little bit below, it's okay. I mean, you can change it so it doesn't, but it's okay if it does, because you're going to be cutting that off anyway. All right. Next thing we want to do is we want to insert a text box and we want to draw a text box and we want to draw it right down here. And we want to click on format. We want to do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of no outline because we just want the text. And we want to write thank, thank you, exclamation point. And we want to highlight this text. We want to go to home and we want to change the text to KB Reindeer Games. Now again, if you don't have this text, it's not a default test, you'll need to um, go ahead and search for it, download it, and install it. And please watch that video if you don't know how to do that. Um, but it's KB Reindeer Games, and this is a 55 point font. Okay. Um, we want to center this. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to highlight this. And actually, I think I had all of this in capitals. There you go. And then all we want to do is just change the um, coloring of the lettering. So we want to highlight this text and we want to make this red. We want to highlight this text and make this pink. Now if you don't have that pink color, you can go to more colors and you can pick out any one of these colors or you can go to custom and get very granular. And then we want to highlight and we want to make this yellow. And what we can do here is make this red and make this pink and then what we can do here is just make this whole thing yellow for now so we don't have to change it twice and then we can change this to red and we can change this to pink okay um next thing we want to do is we want to insert a picture of your child. Now this is actually, I made these for my um, sister-in-law. So we want to go through and we want to insert picture. Now if you noticed, this background was selected. Before I did an insert, I clicked out to be sure there's no little white squares. You need to do that because if you have an object selected and you insert another object or another picture, it's going to insert it over it. So you want to be sure nothing's selected and you want to do insert picture 
and here's a picture of my niece. And first thing we want to do is click over here to layout options and we want to say in front of text, right? And I, or you can right click and you can say wrap text and you can say in front of text, okay? And that's going to move that up. And then we want to click on the format tab, we want to click on crop and we want to move that over and again until you see that T. We want to move this up a little bit. Okay. And we want to move this down. And then you can just resize the image by moving that over. And now what we want to do is add that sort of white border. So we're going to go and click on Format. And if you see up here, we have all of the different options. And I think I actually just chose that first option. But you can choose multiple different options that you want. And you can actually click on here. And there's, there's a myriad if you want to do the round. Um, you can kind of have fun with it, but I chose this one. And the next thing I wanted to do is I wanted to move this off to the side. So if you take a look at this little circular arrow, what you want to do is you want to left click on that circular arrow and you can move that over. Okay. All right, now what we want to do is we want to go through and we want to insert a text box and we want to draw a text box down here. And what we want to do is do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of no outline. And we want to insert a symbol, okay? And again, if you don't know how to download and install new fonts, please watch that video. Um, but you're going to need to install the font KG Flavor and Frame 6, and the heart is the very last one, so you want to double click or you can click insert. And then there you have the little heart. And we want to highlight this, we want to go to home, and we want to make this red. And we want to make this a 48 point font. Okay, love, and then we can do um, Bon Bon is the next font we want to use. Then we want to do, oopsies. Okay, and then we want to click Emily. And whatever name you want. Now I um, change this to pink, and then we want to change this to a 36 point font. And we can change this to a 36 point font. All right, so that's how you can create the outside. And what we want to do here is we want to um, click on the text boxes. And what you want to do is, again, just click on the object. And you want to um, left click, hold down the shift key, left click, and left click all of your different objects. We want to right click. We want to do a copy. And then you have to, again, click out so nothing's selected. And then you want to do a paste. And then we want to move all of this up here. And that's how you can very easily create more than one on a page. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to make the inside. So again, in the inside it says, thanks so much. So what we want to do is we want to click on the box hold down the shift key, click on the other box. We want to do a copy, click out, and then we want to do insert blank page. And then we want to click down here and we just want to do a paste. All right, that's it. And then from here, we want to insert a text box. We want to draw a text box and we want to write, thanks so much and we want to do a couple things the first of things we want to do is shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of no outline we want to go home we want to center this um, we also want to go to format and we want to go to text align in the middle and then we want to go back to home and we want to do the bonbon again and I believe this was a 
28 point font but again you can make any changes you want and again if you want to make this red you can make this any color you want um, but the next thing we want to do is we want to turn this upside down you could have also rotated the image there's multiple different ways to do it but we want to turn it upside down because when we print it this is the way it's going to need to print okay we then want to select this image do a copy and again you just right click and left click in order to get those up and then we want to move this over okay now you can print like this and it'll print fine however the only reason why you need the outside of this and the inside of this is for folding and measuring since we have the folding and the measuring down um, for like where we need to cut we can actually just delete these and then we, this will print out great now when you put it in the printer how you need to put it in the printer is like this so you print out the top then you put it in the printer with the picture showing like that and then you print the second page and then it will print in a perfect three by five card okay so again what you want to do is you want to print this first and what you want to do is you want to go to file print and you want to say current page and then you print this current page just this current page and then after that prints out you put it in the printer like this and then you go back here and again you go to that second page and you just say file print current page and you'll have your three by five foldable card Anyhow, I hope you found this useful. Again, please subscribe and or like any of all of my videos. I'd be so grateful if you find any advertisements that are useful. If you can click on those, that would be fantastic. I'm always looking for new ideas on my website. I also monitor the chat line, so please feel free to ask any questions. Thanks so much.